Taliban and civil society and Western nations. Personally, you know, although you, 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 we see this extraordinary military buildup, we observe from the Norwegian side that part of the northern fleet are sailing along our coast. Politically, for me, it is a sign of weakness in a way, that you have to express your views and, and your interest uh, by that kind of military demonstration. Because it, uh, it is at the table when you deal with the issues that matter to people and you engage in, in, in trade, exchange, uh, people, uh, uh, w w which is modern Europe, that's when you can pursue, pursue your interests, not by, by, by letting you know, people wonder whether the, the weapons will speak. He wants to leave us guessing. He wants this to be an open, that's, I, I assume that is the thinking, that the West, the neighbors, NATO, the United States should not know exactly what is about to happen, which to me indicates that we should be firm, predictable and clear on principles. Europe in the 21st century does not solve political issues by invasion, be they minor, big or whatever. It is really out of the context on how modern Europe should deal with these issues. I believe we have a toolbox of dealing with every state's security being neighbor to another state without infringing or threatening that country's stability and ability to develop. So, you know, uh, Ukraine is not a member of NATO. So the, soli the solidarity in NATO is not, um, the collective defense is not mobilized by what, what, what happens there. But Europe and the West should be very clear that if there is infringement on the border, of a modern state in Europe these days, there will be reactions.